Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Very excited for today's beer as I normally am. Um, actually, I'm a little nervous about today's beer, if I'm being honest. Um, so it was a beer I didn't think I was going to get, uh, and I certainly wasn't going to look out, uh, be on the lookout for it, um, or trade for it, I should say more accurately. Uh, although I love Dragon's Milk, um, many of the variants I've enjoyed. Uh, I actually had, uh, I got this glass, the proper glassware, uh, with a bomber of the uh, S'mores uh, variant I had reviewed a while ago. Uh, 12 ounce bottle of that, I really like that one. Um, so definitely variants I've enjoyed, the regular I enjoy. Um, it's really available, good price point. You know, a little or, a little lower ABV than some of the bigger barrel aged stouts I've been having um, the last, well, since I've been reviewing beers and before. So, But it is nice like to throw them in the mix. And that's always like the, the knock is that they're a little thin, you know, but again, based on these bigger, uh, similar style, but bigger ABV beers. So, um, but this one, if I remember correctly, everyone, cause I, again, I didn't think I was going to um, uh, have one. So I typically don't watch other people's reviews uh, if I'm going to review a beer. Um, but since I didn't think I was going to ever review this beer, let alone drink it, I watched them. And if I remember correctly, no one really liked this beer, um, or at least not that much. Um, the closest thing I can think, well, let me talk about it for a sec. Uh, so this is uh, about four months old. It's 11% ABV. It's the Dragon's Milk Reserve uh, Banana Coconut. So it's bourbon barrel aged stout uh, with real banana and natural flavors. So I hate natural flavors. Like what is that? What is specifically that's in there? Uh, you tell me it's banana and coconut and you tell me it has actual bananas in it and then natural flavors. Is there any coconut in this beer? You can get some coconut from the barrel, certainly. You can put in a... a extract from coconut some natural thing that kind of tastes like coconut but it's not coconut it just drives me it's just like a pet peeve of mine i like real ingredients but anyway closest thing i can think of i've had to this was the 2017 uh, bourbon county prop which was like a banana foster's beer uh it was good it was very sweet um i only had i believe it was two five ounce pours i think i did 10 ounces total which was about as much as I could probably drink of that in one sitting uh, because of the sweetness uh, of it. So that's the closest thing I think of. But you know what? It was on the shelf locally, and I had the proper glass store. So I said, you know what? I need to pull the trigger and get one bottle and do a review. Um, I don't think four months in a stout like this should do much to the taste. I mean, it will change, obviously. But... Um, you know, I'm hoping I still get like a banana taste, coconut, you know what they're saying is in there. Uh, hopefully all that natural flavor goodness. But yeah, cool glass where I like this stemless, like wine glass kind of a thing. Um, dragons, you know, got the um, logo, got the dragon scales. You got the New Holland on the back. So yeah, really cool branding. And then they're trying to get this hashtag going, uh, share a legend uh, for this beer. So that's, you know, good for them. Good marketing, good branding. You know, uh, again, I like this product. I'm just not thinking I might, I'm thinking I might not love this. I'm just kind of trying to be honest, but I do like their product. So shout out to them. Awesome marketing. Um, and it kind of looks like, you know, if it kept going, it would be a, a dragon's egg. Okay. Uh, looks like dragon's milk. I, I do see some. Uh, legs uh, and again it is 11 percent abv it's a like so dark brown that it is mostly black uh, it's not that motor oil black but it's you know it's close um light mocha head dark khaki somewhere in that range um there was a little bit of head it's mostly gone away um yeah looks like it should let's get to the aroma Banana. Well, yeah, you, you kind of has like that banana bread, like right out of the oven. My family, we like to undercook stuff like that just a little bit so it's super moist in the middle. And it kind of has like banana nut bread right out of the oven, um, not overdone, um, big time aroma. I mean, it really smells like that. And then if you had done like a, um, you almost get like some vanilla frosting, actually, a little bit of the vanilla from the barrel. Um, it almost smells like if you had done like rum balls, you know, like maybe if you put like a little bit of bourbon in the bread, like because you get a little bit of that aroma as well, which is super pleasant. So it actually smells a lot better than I was thinking it was going to smell. And there's that nutty quality. The coconut in this aroma does not scream coconut from a barrel to me. It kind of smells like suntan lotion coconut, 
<laughs> I don't know if that's like a super regional descriptor, if that's a descriptor other people have used, but um, uh, Oscar Blue's Death by Coconut. Um, a lot of people who are near me, if we have that beer, I like the bottle share or something, um, or can share to be more specific to that beer. Um, we'll say it has like this suntan lotion kind of a, a smell and taste. I've never tasted suntan lotion, but I get it like that fake natural flavor, maybe coconut. I'll tell you my, my one knock, but it actually smells pretty good, better than I thought it would. Hopefully it tastes better than I'm thinking it will. Cheers. Okay. It's better than I thought it was going to be. It does have that banana bread kind of like soaked in this, not chocolate milk, like this chocolate <clears throat> liquid of some kind. So you get a nice roast chocolate quality. Um, there's some of that vanilla too. Um, probably not surprising what I'm about to say based on what I said about things like natural flavors and about the aroma. The coconut doesn't land for me. It does kind of have that like, and, and maybe it has real coconut. I don't know, but it's coming across kind of like this fake, like oh, this is what coconut candy would taste like and the ingredients have you know, no coconut in them. So it kind of has that. That'd be my, my knock, which is probably obvious as you're watching this. When I think of adjuncts for something like this, my mind does not go to bananas. Other fruits, especially like berries or something, sure, right? Like a bramble, something like that, sure, got it. Um, but not bananas. And it actually works pretty darn well. Um, I bet you I would like this beer twice as much if it just had banana as the adjunct. Um, part of the natural flavors could be banana flavoring, you know, so maybe the banana taste I'm getting isn't from the real bananas, that they had only brewed it with real bananas, um, it wouldn't quite have this level, but the banana taste with what I'm remembering regular Dragon's Milk tasting like works really well. So however you got that banana taste, I'm all on board, even if it's uh, including some natural flavors in addition to the actual bananas you use. I would, if I was ever going to brew this again, if I was them, I would do coconut with a different beer, like it just, to me this is not working out well uh, i'm really excited to watch those reviews again because i did not re-watch them recently so those people i think it was like maybe brett allison i think um draft therapy i've been another one i watched but it was back four months ago three months ago so i don't remember exactly what they said but i'm gonna have to re-watch when i get done filming this um but yeah better than i thought still would rather have the regular or s'mores or a couple of other variants i've had but it's fine um Thank you guys for watching. I always appreciate that. Uh, check me out on Instagram on Tapped. No hype beer reviews above those places. Always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.